I know what you're thinking. Paige, didn't you just do a skincare declutter a couple months ago? And the answer is yes. But we're gonna do another one, and that's because I have a new standard for myself. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how much skincare I have right now. Um, I have like, let's see, five drawers, six drawers full of skincare that is not currently in use. I have decided we are downsizing everything in my life. Um, I decided this months ago, but um, I was proud of the progress that I had made as far as the size of my skincare collection, but I am no longer satisfied. So, today, I'm going to be going through my drawers. Um, like I said, I think I have six drawers with skincare. Some of them are more full than others. For example, this one is not very full. Um, I have masks in here. Ignore the extension cord. <laughs> so this is everything that I currently have that is not currently in use. I have even more skincare that I have in my bathroom, but this is literally all just backups. So we're going to fix this today. I am going to try to get rid of like half of this stuff. I don't know if I'm, that's going to be an achievable, achievable goal for me, but that is my goal is to get rid of about half of the skincare that I have and see if I can fit everything in like two drawers. Two drawers, I feel like, you know, of extra skincare, that's still plenty, much more realistic um, <laughs> than having an entire Alex Nine drawer unit full, which previously this whole thing was full and more full than it is now, but... Although I've made good progress so far, I still want to continue to do better and just downsize everything. And I thought skincare would be a great place to kind of get a little jump start. So if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. So this first drawer here has cleansers as well as cleansing oils, cleansing balms, makeup removers, that type of thing. Um, so there's a lot in here. Um, I don't need to have this many backups like I said. I do go through these types of products and I do use these pretty much every day, but I still don't need six backup cleansing balms. So um, I think that's where we're going to start actually is with cleansing balms. So first I have this one from Juno & Co. Um, this, oh, it expires in September. I have lots of other cleansing balms that I need to get to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this, pass that along to someone else who can hopefully use that before the expiration date. I do appreciate when skincare has expiration dates. It's very helpful. So we'll go ahead and declutter that. Um, this Elmas one I am definitely going to keep. I have tried this once and it was so nice. I also know that this is really expensive and that was sent to me in PR. I definitely want to keep this and use that up very soon. Um, I have this one from Versed, which I also absolutely love. I've already used one of these up previously, so um, I'm going to keep this one as well. Now, I do have three pharmacy cleansing balms. I have one currently in my bathroom. It's almost gone. It's the peach one. Um, I probably have like three or four uses left. So, um, let's see. I will go ahead and pull one that I will use next. So, that'll be my next cleansing balm. Should I do very cherry clean or sweet apple clean? I think I'll do the very cherry clean. Um, since I don't have the box for this, I do still have the box for this, so um, I can pass this along to someone else, so I'll declutter that one. And then I also have the Clearly Clean, which is like the unscented clean version of their Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I'm going to go ahead and pass this along as well, um, just to kind of, you know, streamline things. I, like I said, I don't need six backup cleansing balms and this one I'm going to go ahead and move to my bathroom since like I said I only have like three or four uses left in the one that's currently in there. So now we have two backup cleansing balms which is a lot more realistic. Um, I do have a cleansing oil here but I only have one cleansing oil so um, I suppose I'll keep that one. Um, I have a few cleansers here and then some makeup removers here. As far as cleansers go, um, I love this Ofra Filming Vitamin C Cleanser. I have um, like a little travel size one as well as the full size. I guess I don't need the travel size one even though I love it so much. 
Um, I never really use travel size skincare anyway. I'll just bring like my full size products. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and pass that along, even though I absolutely love it. But I do have the full size right here and it's a pretty large cleanser. So I know it'll last me a long time. Um, so I'll keep that one. I also have the Micro Glow from Ofra, which I also think I want to keep. Um, I have this one back here from Kira Moon. I want to keep this one, but I definitely don't need it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that, pass that along. Um, pretty much everything that I am decluttering is brand new, um, so I should be able to pass it along to someone to hopefully get better use out of it than I do. Um, and then I have this Coco Kind one. This is an oil to milk cleanser. This one I'm really interested in. I haven't tried anything from Coco Kind, um, so I am like more wanting to keep this so i think in order to keep this i need to declutter this cleansing oil which is from first aid beauty i'm sure this is great but i do have two backup cleansing bombs which i would use this for the same thing um and then i'm also putting a brand new one in my bathroom so i guess i don't need this one i will go ahead and declutter it <laughs> i currently have um my la mer cleanser which is almost gone that's in my shower right now so i will replace that with one of these um not sure which one but we have three cleansers which is still kind of a lot but i'm much happier with this than before so we have these over here and then for makeup remover I have the Ofra Beautifying Eye Lotion. I have this little mini Charlotte Tilbury one, and then I have this Chanel one, which honestly, I'm just gonna keep all three of those um, because I will absolutely use those. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this. We've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products out of this drawer. Um, one of them is going to the bathroom. The other six I am passing along to others. So this is what we have left in here. I will reorganize everything at the end because um, obviously there's space in here. And then I'll go through everything once again um, because if I want everything to fit in like two drawers, I'll probably have to get rid of a few more of these products. So first drawer is done for now at least next we have toners um you know any kind of like liquid or um i guess they're all liquid but like spray or you know toner brightening solution that type of thing looks like i have some spfs in here and then moisturizers so i think we'll go ahead and start off with toner <laughs> because I have a lot of toner. I have these four here. Um, it looks like I have a few back here as well. So it looks like I have about seven. So let's see, what can we get rid of? Um, so I have these, which are so freaking cute. They say Pages Glow Tonic from Pixie. I wanna keep them um, like so bad because they say Pages, but I also have some pretty large ones down here, which I think I am going to skip around a little bit. I have these two. Um, they're like massive. Like these are huge. I also have a third one in my bathroom right now that is also this size. I think what I'm going to do is declutter both of these because I'm pretty sure I've had these for years. Um, I don't know that these are still good. These two are my oldest ones. So I saved them all this time because they said Pages Glow Tonic and I just thought that was so cute and I love this product, but I used the non-Page ones first, which I should have just used the ones that say Page on it. So I'm going to get rid of both of these large ones just because I don't know when these are from. They've never been opened, but I don't want to take the risk. So both of those I'm going to declutter. These are my newest ones. Um, I have a big one and a little one. I think I'll go ahead and pass along the small one as well just because I don't need it. Um, so I have one Pages Glow Tonic. I have the Botanical Collagen Tonic, which I do enjoy this. I had a small one before. Um, so we'll think about that. Um, I have the Versed Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. I would like to try that. 
Um, we have this one from Paula's Choice. I know this one's pretty old, so I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I have this one from Kopari, which I am interested in keeping. I also have these Elemis resurfacing pads. These are kind of like a toner type product. And then I have this Coco Kind Turmeric Illuminating Solution. So I definitely can't keep all of these. Um, I think I am going to keep the Elemis, so I'll set that over there. Um, I'm going to get rid of the collagen tonic, even though, like, I know I enjoy that. I just, I have a lot of toners, and I just don't think I need that one. Um, then we have these four. I think I'm going to get rid of the Versed one, even though I really want to try this, and I absolutely love Versed products. This is still brand new, and I recently got this, so I'm going to pass it along. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to declutter the Kopari one as well. No, you know what? I'm going to keep the Kopari one. I'm going to declutter the Coco Kind one. This has 7% PHA in it, which is a chemical exfoliant, which I know I would probably love. But I'm going to pass that along. Um, and you know what? <laughs> Ugh, I'm, like, conflicted because I have a large one of these already open. And I think, um, I think I'm gonna, honestly, I should probably throw away the one that is open in my bathroom because, again, it's probably, like, years old. This one I know I got, like, within the last couple months. So I'll move this one to my bathroom and declutter the third large one that I have. And then I will keep the Kopari one. So we'll keep Elemis and Kopari. I have sunscreen, um, which I'm pretty sure I have, like, quite a few of these. So I have four SPFs. Um, I'm definitely going to keep the Drunk Elephant one, like, absolutely keeping that one. I have this one from Coco Kind. Let's see. The expiration is April 2024. I have this Kopari one. This one expires January 2024, and then I have this one from Trader Joe's. This one expires May 2024. I've used this one. Um, this is supposed to be a dupe for, I think, the Super Goop, like, Unseen Sunscreen. But I think I'm going to pass it along. It's really, like, slippery and oily, which I feel like it probably is a dupe for the Super Goop one. But, and I used to love the Super Goop one, but... I just, I don't know. I feel like I would prefer something a little bit more hydrating. So um, I'm going to declutter that one because it has that silicone feel. And then I'm also going to go ahead and declutter this one just because it's still a good SPF. But I don't need to keep four of them. So I will keep two. I'm pretty sure I have one open in my bathroom. Um, I had two. I had the Trader Joe's one and I have another one. I forget which one it is though. So I'll have two of these. If I don't have one in my bathroom, then I'll pull from here and then I'll just have one singular backup SPF. And then we have moisturizers and eye creams. So I think what I'm going to do is move these products that I'm keeping up a drawer with my cleansers and stuff just to kind of see how things are fitting. So for moisturizer no let's do eye cream first <laughs> um i have this one that i got in a pr package from uh, suja which was so cool but i think i'm gonna go ahead and pass this along because it is still brand new um i have a kopari sorry eye balm i have a versed eye cream i have these little la mer samples um we have an eye balm and this is an eye concentrate honestly i know these are so old because i've had these for years over a year at this point so we're just gonna declutter those um so i have two eye cream type products I would keep this Kopari one, but it has an interesting texture, and I'm not sure if that's because it, like, melted and, like, re-solidified or what, so I'm gonna declutter that, and then I only have one eye cream, but honestly, I don't really use eye cream that often, so you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this one as well. Um, I'll, I just pretty much use moisturizer, like, all over my face, so I have this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is from, I think, 2019, if I had to guess. So, we're going to declutter this. You want to see something? This is such a shame. 
This, I think, is from 2019. It's kind of been the second one that I bought. I honestly don't remember. Um, but I know it's been years since I've had this. So, that's gonna go. Um, I have a Kopari moisturizer. I actually have two Kopari moisturizers. I'll set those aside here. I have this one from La Mer. Um, this was also like a little mini type thing. Um... I'm gonna declutter it because I'm pretty sure I've had it for a really long time. Um, I have this Versed Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. This sounds really good, so I might keep that one. And then I have these ones from Ofra, which I really enjoy both of these. I have the Oil Free Moisturizer as well as the Peptide Moisturizer. I probably don't need to keep both of these. I think I'm gonna keep the oil-free moisturizer and I will give this one to Jarvis. Um, I asked him if he would, I let him smell it. It smells really good. It's on the back of my hand. Look at how shiny this hand is compared to this one. Like, oh my gosh, that's honestly crazy, the difference. This hand has nothing, but wow. That is so hydrating and it feels so good. It smells really good. But I just wanted to double check to see if he would use it. Because um, it does smell kind of green. I don't know, honestly. It smells really good. <laughs> I don't know what it smells like. But that one's going to go to Jarvis. And I will keep this one. Um, let me smell these. I'm kind of picky about how I want my <laughs> moisturizers to smell. This one doesn't have much of a scent. It's pretty light. This is the Kopari Coconut Water Moisture Cream. That's like a gel type consistency. Ooh, this one smells really good. This is the Peptide Glow Hydrating Moisturizer. I love Copari's products. So for now, I'll keep these four. I might need to get rid of another one, but we will see. So everything fits in this top drawer so far, which is fantastic. Next, we have serums and like treatments and things. So there's going to be a lot from this drawer that I can get rid of. So what I'm going to do is move the ones I want to keep up a drawer. So I have my Glow Recipe serums. I'm going to keep these. I have the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I have Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. And I have the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Over here I have a few oils. Um, I have this Sunday Morning Antioxidant Serum. I'm pretty... Is this the one that I have used? I think this is the one that I've used. And if so... I don't know, honestly. I think so. I think this is really old, so I'm going to declutter that. Um, Drunk Elephant one I do want to keep, and then I have this Elemis one that I also kind of want to keep, so potentially those two. I have this Kira Moon Super Hydra Serum. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Um, Glow Tonic from Pixie and Clar Clar Clarity. <laughs> Clarity Concentrate, maybe the Glow Tonic Serum I'll keep, but I'll declutter the Clarity Concentrate. Um, I have this Ofra, this is the, oh, Collagen Serum, interesting. I might keep that one. Um, Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice is a classic. I have the Zero Zit Spot Solution, um, potentially going to keep that. Botanical Collagen Eye Serum. I don't need this, so I'm gonna declutter that. I have some things back here. I have the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. I can declutter that. Um, First Aid Beauty Bounce Boosting Serum. I'm gonna declutter that. This Drunk Elephant one is super old. You guys brought that to my attention that the packaging has changed like a year ago, so that I'm going to declutter. I have these Pacifica serums. I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter these since I haven't used them up until this point. I have the, um, what is this? This is a revitalizing vitamin C mist mask. I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter that. I'm gonna keep Dr. Jart. I wanna keep this vitamin C from pharmacy. I also wanna keep, ah, uh, you know what? I think this is old. Yeah, this is old. The Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel from Burst. I'm going to declutter that. I have this Retinol Pro from Neutrogena that I potentially would keep. Um, Hard Candy H2O Serum. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter that. I have these two from Ofra. Fruit Acid Lotion and B5 Serum. And then I have the B Hydra Intensive Serum from Drunk Elephant. So 
I'm definitely going to keep these and this. I'm going to keep the retinol. I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter the pixie like acne spot treatment i pretty much just, just use acne patches now so i'll declutter that i do want to keep this this is so old and i know it's old so it, i gotta declutter it pixie glow tonic serum i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter um the collagen serum from ofra i will keep and then these two oils I'm going to keep as well. Next up, I have masks. So um, I really don't use masks very often anymore. Um, these Sephora ones, I just, I know they're old. So I'm going to declutter all of the Sephora masks. The La Mer ones I know are older and the Tatcha ones, but I'm going to keep those and just make myself use them. Like, I will use these. <laughs> very soon i'm gonna make sure of it um i have some acne patches these are from the crumb shop these aren't my favorite acne patches but i am gonna keep those because i use acne patches like almost every single night um i have some under eye masks from one size i have one from the crumb shop i think i'm just gonna declutter the one size ones because i just don't need them i will keep the one that i have from the crumb shop um these masks the esw ones these are really nice um pore control moisturizing and soothing maybe i'll keep those uh the pacifica like patch thing for those serums i'm gonna declutter i have these i do care masks these are like there's like a bunch of them in here and so you don't have like a single use like waste packaging along with the uh mask so those are kind of nice but you know what i don't need them <laughs> i don't need them so i'm gonna declutter them i have these pixie ones which i've had for a while these are still good but i don't need them so i'm gonna declutter them i think i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these even though i know they're really nice i just don't need them so i have one eye patch <laughs> an eye patch i have some acne patches and then i have a couple masks there's a couple tatcha ones i have one la mer and then these so um those we will keep and that really simplifies that this next drawer this is a pump for the larger pixie waters which the glow tonics which i'm not going to keep the micellar water I am going to keep because that is always a staple for me. So we have these two drawers empty and then we have masks which is my last drawer to go through. So let's go ahead and slide down there and then we will take a look at the after and potentially get rid of a few additional items. Okay, so we have quite a few masks in here. Um, definitely not as many as I used to have. Starting in the back, I have some from e.l.f. that I am already going to probably declutter. I have watermelon glitter face mask. I have the, what is this? The hemp cannabis sativa dope dreams sleeping mask. And I have the game up awakening face mask. Um, I'm going to get rid of this e.l.f. one, or the, the dope dreams sleeping mask. I do want to keep this one <laughs> because I haven't used it yet. And then I have the Jelly Pop, which I do love the pink glitter, so I might keep that one. I have these Juno & Co. ones. These are so old. <laughs> so both of these are going to be decluttered. I really enjoy this uh, Calamine Pore Purging Mask from First Aid Beauty. That one's really good. Um, I have these I Do Care little mini ones. I'm just going to declutter all of these because, again, I just don't need them. And there's... <laughs> five products that I just don't need to be holding on to. This is actually kind of like eating away at the inside of the packaging. I don't know if you can see that there. So uh, I'm going to get rid of that. The overtime mask from Summer Fridays, I'm going to keep. This wishful one, um, I'm also going to keep. I have an Ofra brightening mask. That one's going to stay um fresh vitamin nectar glow mask this is so old that's gonna be decluttered i have this one from peter thomas roth this one's really good for the summer so 
I think I'll keep that one. This glow recipe one I know is old. There's not a, an expiration date on here, but I've had that for so long. I think I'm gonna keep this Versed mask. I have this Ula Hendrickson mask, which has not been pumped, um, and it's really similar to the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial, so I'm just gonna declutter the Ula Hendrickson one, and I'll keep Baby Facial. I'm also gonna keep the F-Bomb, as well as their uh, Vitamin C one, the Bouncy Bright Facial. I have one from La Mer. This is a lifting and firming mask. I'm pretty sure this is for like your neck and chest. And then I have these eye gel patches, which I'm just gonna declutter them because I don't need them. I'm also gonna get rid of these elf ones because even though they're cute, that's pretty much the only reason I wanna keep them. So both of those will be decluttered. Okay, I'm gonna reorganize everything and see if I can fit it into two drawers. I'll let you know if there's anything additional that I declutter, um, but I'll show you guys the after of what my skincare collection looks like. So before I show you guys what the drawers are looking like, this is a peek at everything that I'm decluttering. Um, this like whole pile of stuff um, goes back. <laughs> there is stuff piled up hidden underneath things. There's just stuff like absolutely just stacked on top of each other. Um, there's a lot of products here. So as you guys saw, I went from six drawers to this drawer, which has cleansers, toners, makeup removers, cleansing balms, SPFs, and moisturizers. All of that in one drawer, that's absolutely unheard of. I used to only have one category per drawer so I had this whole entire thing full of cleansers one whole entire thing full of moisturizers but now um I've really pared things down so we have this drawer here which um you know I could still like stuff stuff in here I don't want to do that this isn't something that I have to regularly reach to either so that's why I'm okay with having things a little bit further back like these um SPFs because I know they're here and I can still see them um but it's not a big deal that they're not like front and center. So we have this drawer and then we have this drawer, which this one I feel like is a little bit less <laughs> aesthetically pleasing. Um, but this is actually the only other drawer of skincare that I have. So I'll go through that in a second, but this drawer is empty. All of these ones that previously had skincare products in them are now all empty. So in here I have masks here and here as well as here i have a couple of serums in this container here and then these and once again these are sort of like extra ones that i don't reach for every day so that's why it's okay that they're kind of back here but i have this them all in this container that i can easily slide out and reach for a serum when i'm ready for it i have my acne patches with those couple sheet masks underneath and then i have my back up my cellar water here as well. So that is the entirety of my skincare <laughs> collection other than what is currently in my bathroom um, as well as my skincare project pan, but I cannot believe this. I think that this is incredible. I used to have the entire nine drawers full of skincare and now I have two. And I still wanna continue to pare it down from here. I haven't really purchased skincare in a really long time. I still receive products in PR that I am so incredibly grateful for. A lot of this was sent to me in PR, which again, I'm incredibly grateful for, but I just have too much stuff and I would so much rather it get used by somebody who will actually get used out of it than just sit in my drawers until it expires, so. I'm so happy with this, it feels so good. Um, I'll definitely be like, you know, refiguring my uh, storage situation because I just truly, right now I have one for hair care and body care, one for skin care. I have two, three for makeup and then I have that one over there that has like makeup bags, brush cleaners, sponges, kind of like random stuff. But I don't need six ikea drawers anymore i don't so 
I'm really trying to pare this down and I think this was a great way to kickstart things. So we have only two drawers of skincare. I cannot wait to show Jarvis. I think he's gonna be so proud of me and I'm just so excited. Um, and then I'm only moving these three products to my bathroom. So it's not like I'm even like re <laughs> replacing, like just moving things around. Like I'm actually decluttering all of this. And those three items are the only ones that are going to be moved. So that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.